Hello, my name's Toby and if you saw my last video you may be introduced to me as a painter but this time I'll be showing you my new photographic zenith. So before I talk about what I've been up to, I just want to share something that's inspired me to make this scene. Nature by Michael Schmidt is a book published by Mac Publishing and I picked this up a couple of years ago. It's a really nice series of black and white images. As you can see here, it's things that you'd usually pick up on your walk. Um, I do something really, really similar. Shadows, leaves. I'm at the coast now, so it's mostly rocks. And also a lot of repetition, because when you go walking, you tend to see the same things. If you go on the same paths, you will always see the same things. Let's be honest, you'll photograph them a lot if you're anything like me. And this book, it puts you into the eyes of a photographer who's walking around a wooded landscape. So this video is about making zines at home. Whilst I was studying for my masters in photography, I did make a few zines also. So this zine called See Through. There we go, now you can see it. It's part of my master's project I did, where I looked at the transparency and the materiality of camera film. So with this scene, I was experimenting quite a lot with different styles of papers. Um, I did a transparent paper with a 4x5 negative on. Uh, makes quite a cool effect when you shine a torch on it and it projects onto the white paper. So this was quite an ambitious scene to make and I certainly haven't gone quite as ambitious this time, but what I learned from doing this is definitely transpired into my new zine. So here is my new zine, Coast, part one. Complimation of images, all taken at the coast. And the thing that keeps them all together is they were all shot on Fuji Velvia film. So for those not in the know, Fuji Velvia is a transparency film. That means you get a color positive from the image rather than a negative. And this particular film gives you high contrast, saturation, really vivid colors. All these different colours you get from the coast and this film is just perfect for it and it makes a great addition to the first scene. So I started taking these images when I used to live in Cumbria and uh, that's on the west coast of the UK and now I live on the east coast, I live at Whitley Bay. So I want these images to also have a very candid nature to them just like Michael Schmidt's book but I also want them to focus on things that I find particularly interesting like here we have at Cardinuck in Cumbria um, I think this is a, something to do with RAF, a military base. Whether they're for surveillance, I'm not too sure, but they make a really interesting photo. The photographs of the Cumbrian coast I have here were taken in the winter, so they have this empty feeling about them. I wasn't obstructed by crowds and crowds of people. A lot of the images from Whitley Bay were in the summer. They have a completely different feel, and I quite like the comparison from the east and the west coast to also different times of year as well. So every zine I make is hand-produced by me. So that's I take the images, I print them myself, cut them, I bind them. Everything in this scene is done at home. There's no publishing house doing any of this for me. What's good about that is I can control the quality of the print, um, the colours, everything like that. I'm not relying on someone else to get it right. I will be doing a limited run of these zines, so I'll be doing about 20. We'll see how much paper I get through. The pre-orders are now live, so if you go to tobyblankmanfineart.co.uk slash shop, you will find these to pre-order. I estimate about a week's production time um, until they're all shipped out. Okay there guys, thank you very much for watching. Pre-order link will be in the description below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of what I do. Thank you.